Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. Let's have a look and see what you're dealing with at this time whenever you found this video. That's when you are meant to find it. Keep it up in mind, take what resonates as it resonates with your situation. Always trust your own discernment in how and if you accept these general messages, okay? Thank you all for your likes, your shares, your beautiful comments. I really love your comments and for subscribing to the channel. We're almost at 5,000. And I thought when we get to 5,000, I'll do, a, I'll do a, a quick hello on camera so you can see me. So if that's something you're interested in and you haven't subscribed, that was a good idea to do so. If it gives you that little extra incentive. And thank you all so, so much for your continued support. Okay, let's see what's going on for Pisces placements at the time they view this video. Okay. If you're interested in checking out my second channel, I've linked it in the description box, Advice to Think Twice. I do readings for all the signs there, or collective readings. Bottom of the deck, we have strength, Leo energy, strength, courage, facing something, taking charge of something. Could also be holding back from something if you deem it unhealthy. Ah, coffee. <laughs> are you having coffee with me? Okay. Or what are you having? Ooh, death card, yes. You're definitely putting an end to something. It takes a lot of strength to do this, but you're doing it. In the challenge position, the, in the intuition. <laughs> the high priestess, this seer in this deck. This is, um, you've been holding back from an ending. You've been holding back from doing something your intuition has been telling you that you, you gotta do. But I feel like either you're doing it now or it's happening anyway with the death card, despite you holding back because it's meant to happen your intuition has been telling you this okay and the foundation the four of swords yeah you've been holding back from taking action with something that your intuition was telling you it's time to do because it involved some sort of big change or transformation or big ending and either you've been waiting trying to avoid it procrastinating looking for ways can this be resolved can this be healed can this be fixed you know and eventually you got to acceptance and like going through the stages of grief, isn't it? And then you're, you're allowing it to happen or you're making it happen. With the death card energy, it's more of an allowing or, and getting on board because it's happening anyway. And I feel like for some of you, that's what you're understanding and accepting. And for others of you, um, whatever this ending or big change or transformation is, it's happening anyway. And with the strength card, you're saying, okay, well, it's kind of, you feel like, well, I kind of knew it was coming. I didn't want to admit it. I didn't want to accept it, but I knew it was coming. So now it's like, okay, what do we do from here? The nine of coins in the recent past. Yeah, for some of you, this ending involves walking away from a relationship, becoming single, and that's why you've been putting it off. You, don't, you didn't really want to do that. Um, for others of you, you're perfectly happy single and you didn't want that to come to an end. You have an opportunity to join forces with someone where you're, you've been working for yourself and you have an opportunity now to either join a bigger company, join some sort of an umbrella corporation, become part of a group somehow and you're saying, I'm happy single, I'm happy on my own, I'm happy independent. But at the same time, everything was pointing you in the direction of this is a really good opportunity for you, you should do this. And for some, it's the Nine of Pentacles with the Four of Swords can be um, when you're so comfortable in your current situation by yourself, doing things your own way. Uh, solitude can be addictive, you know, because once you find that peace in solitude, it, it's getting more and more difficult to get out and deal with people. It's getting more and more difficult to get out and deal with other people's issues, to deal with, you know, trying to work together. And when, when you can just, it's just so much easier to just say, you know what, I'm just going to do it by myself, I'm going to do it alone, I'm just going to go over there in the corner, 
I don't have to deal with anyone. I can just get on, you know. But there's something happening where intuition has been telling you it's time to get back out there. It's time to join this, join that, talk to this person, go there. And you're saying, well, no, I'm actually pretty comfortable over here. And then with the death card, something's happening where it, you're being, it feels like you're being pushed out of your comfort zone because you're meant to grow, but still. So let's see, what's on the mind? Two of Wands. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's like I didn't really want to be looking at this choice, but I also have no other choice. <laughs> I've been putting off making this decision. I've been putting off contemplating these options. But now it's like something has ended and it's like, well, I, I have no choice but to look at my options at this point. What I was holding on to has completely transformed to where it doesn't make me happy anymore, to where I don't fit in there anymore, to where it just doesn't meet my needs anymore. Either something ended or it transformed in such a way where it is no longer your comfort zone. Okay. Okay. So what's going on today? Ace of coins, temperance, and three of cups. For some of you Pisces, what this is, is you're being literally pushed to go outside more to meet people, to deal with people, to be social, to come together with other people and get out of hermit mode basically. And I've been in hermit mode for quite some time myself. Um, and I do like, if I can share my experience so that it gives you an example for you, for you to figure out how this could be applying to you. My intuition has been telling you, listen, that's great, but it's, it's not really, very healthy you have to have a mix you have to have a balance right temperance you can spend time on your own and do things in your own way in your own time but also don't completely separate yourself from people don't completely cut yourself off from any social activities you know because they have their value also if it's a situation where you're saying I'm open to meeting new people but you don't leave the house and you don't really do the online thing. Well, how are you gonna meet new people, <laughs> right? I'm guilty of that myself. And so something is happening where there's a big shakeup, either a big transformation or something ends altogether. But it's meant to push you to where your interest has been telling you to go anyway which is a new beginning with the ace of coins this, that could be very prosperous for you that's going to bring some balance in your life with temperance and a lot of celebration with the three of cups so this could be a big shake up at your job and you've been perfectly comfortable and then now all of a sudden either they changed your role or they're restructuring the company they're going to have to move you around or they're letting people go somehow and you're like i didn't and maybe your intuition has been telling you this maybe you've been hearing rumors or maybe you've been getting signs about this but you're you said no that won't apply to me i'm okay i'm safe right and out of the blue here they're coming to you and telling you about it and now with the two of wands you're faced with the decision you can't go back to how things were with the death card that's no longer an option so now they're talking to you do you want to stay do you want to go do we have these options for you we could put you over there we can move you over here the bottom line is you cannot go back to how it was and the discomfort comes from but i was comfortable where i was i was comfortable the way things were and what we're being guided to try to open our minds to is your level of comfort was actually preventing your growth you are comfortable but you're ready to grow you might not feel like it with the strength card you might not feel strong enough to put yourself out there again to start something over to start something fresh to take on different responsibilities to put yourself in different situations you might not feel confident and comfortable enough to do that but the universe the your angels and your guys are telling you that you have been ready to do this for quite some time okay and you're meant to, you're meant to grow, you're meant to evolve and you're ready for it. You know, you are ready for a better job, which is why they're kind of restructuring this one or pushing you in the direction of a better job. And listen, as soon as you open yourself up to just going with it, 
following this energy, seeing where it takes you, there's something new right on the other side of that bridge. You're not going to be looking for a long time, for a long time, okay? If you can trust your intuition and what you're guided to do, or the steps that they're telling you to take, right? Uh, or this is an actual person telling you this is what's going on, but we have a process for this. We have it figured out. All you got to do is go here, here, and here, and you'll be fine, right? That's that's the energy here. So let's get more cards out here for Pisces. Death card in the current situation, Ace of Cups. Something new is meant to come into your life, Pisces, that you've been holding back from, or somehow... Because it's like, I want this, but at the same time, you've been blocking it. So sending the universe makes signals. I want this, but I want it to come in my comfort zone. And they're saying, well, it's just outside your comfort zone. So you got to work with us here, right? The High Priestess, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you've been guided to move, change, take action, communicate, put yourself out there. Go with the energy with the Eight of Wands. And you've been holding back and that has been the challenge you see how you're sending mixed signals and again guilty of it myself we all do it because i want what i want but on my terms and the universe is saying well that's not really how it works it's co-creation you do your part but then you gotta let me do my part okay this is where they're sending us opportunities to grow to put ourselves out there movement change and with the high priestess and the four swords we're not taking those opportunities we're saying no I want to stay in my comfort zone and it needs to come here to me in my comfort zone. I want to make more money, but I'm comfortable in my job. I don't want any more responsibility. I don't want to learn anything new. Well, they can only give you what they're giving you without, if you don't introduce a new element, if you don't introduce like a new qualification that you got, a new skill that you want to talk to them about, a new goal you want to achieve, you know then how can they offer you more money right so it's that kind of a scenario if you go learn a new skill get a new qualification of some sort and you then come talk to them they might give you more money but you have to get out of your comfort zone to go learn something new and it's the same energy in any area of life i want to start a new romantic relationship at the same time i don't really want to leave the house or at the same time, what I might not be admitting to myself is I'm actually a lot more comfortable on my own. So then the universe is saying, so do you want a relationship or don't you? Because if you do, you're going to have to do some things. Like you're going to have to step outside that comfort zone. You're going to have to open yourself up to it, make room for it in your life. Or this is what is giving you the realization that, you know what, actually, I don't want a relationship. I thought I did, but I really don't actually, you know, that could be the transformation. Four Swords in the Foundation. The Fool. <laughs> yeah, this is all happening because what you want is just outside your comfort zone. Something big for you is just outside your comfort zone. And you've been kind of fighting with the universe and taking a stand of, I want this, but I'm not going to move towards it. You need to bring it to me the way I want it, when I want it, in this place and in this time. And the universe has been trying to tell you through your intuition, signs, symbols, dreams, that's not how it works, Pisces. Like we're trying to work with you, but you got to work with us as well. That's why this is all happening. The nine of coins in the recent past, the three of wands. Yeah, this is like telling yourself, again, make signals. I'm happy, comfortable where I am, but at the same time, you're looking, but what else is out there? Well, if you're open to possibilities and you're interested and you're curious and you feel like there's something out there for you, are you really perfectly content where you are or are you just telling yourself that? And if you are, why are you telling yourself that? Is it a lack of confidence and insecurity that's holding you back and making you tell yourself that? Four of coins under the strength card. See? This is something that you really wanted for yourself and I don't know if you attempted it in the past or you didn't even attempt it and it's just past experiences corrupting the way you, you view this, but it's almost like you told yourself from the beginning, if it's not exactly the way I want it to be, trying to control it because again, coming from a place of insecurity and, and uh, not feeling strong enough or confident enough, right? 
and you told yourself it has to be exactly the way I want it to be because that way I can control it. I know what it is. So I won't get hurt, right? That's where that comes from. And the universe is telling you there's an element of taking a leap of faith here. There's an element of having trust. There's an element in, there's an element of just taking a chance on something new and following your intuition that also needs to be applied for you to have this new beginning. Two of Wands on the mind, the sun. What you want is right in front of you, but just outside your comfort zone. Ace of Coins, Temperance, Three of Cups. The Ten of Wands, the Empress, Six of Wands. Yeah, you can't, to start something new, you have to let go of the baggage, okay? So that, to start something new, you have to leave your comfort zone. However that resonates with you. Recognition, more money, true love in your life, fame, popularity, success is just outside your comfort zone. But you're trying to control everything to, to such a degree where you don't see the blessing anymore. Do you know what I mean? And we all do that. We all do that, Pisces. But this is just a heads up. Consider this. Is this an option? Could you have been sending mixed signals to the universe? And if you have, this is what you can do to fix it, right? That kind of situation. What else for Pisces? The Hierophant, King of Wands, and Seven of Wands. The universe has been trying, your angels, you guys, they've been trying to bring you the love partner you want and deserve. The one you can settle down with, marry, have a family, whatever that means to you. They've been trying to bring that to you. You've been blocking them. I don't think you know that you've been blocking them. So I think this is a very important reading. Because you're sitting here saying, I'm open. I'm completely open. I don't understand why nothing new is coming into my life. I'm completely open. And they're asking you to consider, are you really though? Are you in a position to just have faith and trust and take a chance? It's not being irresponsible, it's a very different thing. It's making informed decisions, but also factoring in your intuition. Because what they're trying to bring you, your intuition is telling you is the right thing. But when you look at it from solely a practical perspective, you're not sure if it's the right thing or not. Do you know what I mean? But that's where you need to pay attention to your heart and pay attention to your intuition to pinpoint which of the opportunities in front of you is the right thing for you, okay? And since we're blocking our intuition, we're not listening to it or dismissing it, that's why we're so confused and that's why we feel uncertain with the strength card at the bottom of the deck and we don't really have confidence in anything that's being presented to us. And we go into, I need more details, I need more, more clarity, I need uh, further confirmation and we keep asking for confirmation and they give it, give it us, but because again, we don't listen to our intuition. We doubt our intuition. That's the deciding factor here. They're trying to bring you your dream job. They're trying to bring you the perfect idea for you to start your business. They're trying to put you in touch with the right people so that you can start your business or take your business to the next level. But again, there's, there's something being blocked. And it's us blocking it with the Seven of Wands. It's us blocking it by sending mixed signals to the universe, by trying to over control the situation, by not listening to our intuition. Because our intuition is talking to us, it's screaming at us, it's right there, it's right in front of you. It's right in front of you. But you see how both these three of wands, two of wands, both these people, they're looking, they're just looking. They're not reaching out. They're not going for it. They're not taking any action. They're observing, they're seeing, but they're not taking action. Nine of coins, dazzle me, impress me, show me what you got, but she's not impressed with anything because she doesn't trust. She's not, her heart isn't open and that's what's in the foundation. That's what's in the foundation. Okay. And it's like, no, until it's perfectly clear, it's absolutely confirmed 100%, until I'm fully confident in this, 
But in order to feel confident with something, we have to feel something towards it. We have to have our hearts open to it. And I feel like for a lot of you, that is the problem. That is the issue. You're scared with the strength card because of everything else you've been through. It's perfectly understandable. You're scared to trust. And that is what is required. That is the whole point. That is what is required for you to take a chance on this Ace of Cups, Ace of Coins. Whatever this person is, opportunity is, place, situation, idea that you've been guided to, that you've been dreaming about, that you've been hearing signs, seeing signs, it's everywhere. But because we have that fear in our hearts, we're blocking our hearts, we're protecting our hearts. But in walling up our hearts, we're also walling up our intuition. Does that make sense? And it is our intuition that is giving us the, the clarity and the confirmation that yes, this is it. You should go for this. You should put yourself out there. You should take a chance on this. It's a difficult place to be in Pisces. Been, been there myself many times where we have to conquer that fear. But what I'm gonna offer you is to consider um, Thinking about it is not going to do anything, okay? The only way to see whether or not something is good for us is to take a chance on it, a small chance, something, a small step, something you're still comfortable with, but it's also slightly uncomfortable to find that balance with temperance of I'm comfortable putting myself out there, but up to this point, but I'm still putting myself out there, right? But this is where I'm going to draw the line. If it gets that far, there's red flags, there's stuff going on, I'll pull back. But I'm still putting myself out there somehow. Do you know what I mean? It's that we're being taught balance with temperance. Where it's not either follow your heart or follow your brain, your logic, your reasoning. We're being taught how to blend the two. How to follow your heart but take your brains with you. Okay, take your wits with you that's that's what's happening okay that is what is happening and it's a big lesson but it's an important lesson because there's something right in front of you pisces that you keep denying that you keep avoiding that you keep explaining it away or you keep um, asking for confirmation about is it what i think it is you're receiving the confirmation and then you're doubting it again you're denying it again and you're asking for further confirmation this is that situation okay where the universe is stepping in and saying, listen, we're taking away your comfort zone. We've made that decision for you because deep down inside, that's what you want as well. They're not making decisions for you. They're just kind of bringing them to the surface. You've already made that decision, okay? Which is why you're going back and forth about it. Do you know what I mean? If you hadn't made up your mind that that is something that you want, you wouldn't feel the fear of, but what if it's wrong for me? You've already decided you, it's what you want. And that's where the fear comes in. Because you're feeling like, I want to get involved. I want to see where this goes. And that's where the fear comes in. But the decision has been made subconsciously, at least. Okay? I just want to make that clear. No one does anything without our free will. Okay? So, the universe is stepping in and saying, we're helping you. We have taken away your comfort zone. You're now in a place of clear slate. You can't go back to what was. What do you do from here? Okay. So the universe is taking away your comfort zone to try to help you. They're giving you a helping hand. They're giving you an advantage, right? Of you no longer have to debate of should you or shouldn't you leave your comfort zone because that has taken a long time for you and you're still debating it. Even though you feel like you, you should, you're still afraid somehow or you're doubting yourself still. So we've taken away your comfort zone. It's no longer comfortable. Now you're at a, at a place where, what do you do from here? You've got choices. You've got this thing in front of you that's screaming at you. You can't go back to your comfort zone. Are you gonna give it a chance now? This is something where they're putting you in a place of what if you had nothing to lose? Would you go for it? 
They're helping you. They're trying to help you. Okay. So let's see. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have eagle. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. It's like the sun energy. <laughs> clarity. Strength. We have the strength card. Confidence. They have lifted some sort of burden off of you, and it has to do with the decision of whether or not you leave your comfort zone. Because they've taken it away or completely changed it to where it's not comfortable anymore. Birth, number four, because you're meant to have something new in your life. This is something you've been trying to manifest. This is something you've been trying to create, but then sending mixed signals about it to the universe because of that fear of leaving the comfort zone in order to have this new thing. Does that make sense? Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. Two aces, ace of cups, ace of pentacles. It's something you can trust and it's something that's going to make you very happy and it's something that will very, be very prosperous for you. But there is that element of trusting yourself enough to go for it, to give it a chance to unfold in your life, to entertain it. For some of you, it's not even about that you have to go pursue it and you have to hustle. This is something that's been trying, it's, they're trying to bring it to you. And what you have to do is give it time to unfold, get involved enough, start the conversations, hear these people out enough to see what happens, to go to the next level, to get more information about it. Because for some of you, this is a fear of unknown. I don't know enough about it. My intuition is telling me it could be good, but I don't know enough about it. So give it time to unfold, ask some questions, entertain it. That is also taking a chance on it, okay? It doesn't have to be this big, big move where it's like, that feels too responsible, that feels crazy. It doesn't have to be that. Take small chances, take ca calculated risks, but still there's an element of risk that you're taking, right? Tell me more about it. I'm gonna take some time out of my day. I'm risking wasting my time. I'm going to take an hour of my day to hear you out. Tell me more about this. That's still taking a chance. That's still putting yourself out there, Pisces, with the fool, okay? <laughs> the fool, again, have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous, Pisces. They're really trying to help you find the courage and phoenix oh my god i'm getting chills 25 be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis they're taking away your comfort zone because you're meant to soar to greater things because you're ready you might not feel ready you're doubting whether or not you're ready but you are so take this as that confirmation again your intuition is trying to tell you you're ready pisces you've healed you've recovered you're ready for new things you can handle new things you can handle bigger things but you have to see it for yourself Okay, you have to have that confidence in yourself. What a beautiful reading. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Please tell me how you resonate with the reading if you do. Please tell me if it helps. It's a very important reading. It's a very important message. Share it with whoever you think may benefit from it. Because honestly, like the biggest blessing of your life is trying to come in. But it's just outside your comfort zone. There's an element that, of, of taking a chance, of having faith, taking a chance, taking a risk, putting yourself out there just a little bit. You don't have to go all the way, like miles away from your comfort zone. You don't have to burn your comfort zone to the ground. All you have to do is open the door and just put one foot out of your comfort zone, right? For some of you, your comfort zone is going away it's completely transformed somehow to where it's no longer comfortable and that's not to punish you that is to help you now that you don't have to debate whether or not you leave your comfort zone we've, we've taken it away it's no longer a debate clear slate where do where do you go from here do you give this a chance now do you entertain this now are you willing to give it time are you willing willing to invest in it even if it's just five minutes i'm taking five minutes out of my day i'm risking wasting five minutes of my day that's a risk to step into this unknown situation so you can tell me more about it and the more you learn about it the more comfortable it becomes see all right pisces so i really really hope this helps okay um i i hear baby steps are still steps forward okay so you find your rhythm but any tiny risk, any calculated risk, any anything, but it's still you putting yourself out there, okay? 
don't think you have to take this big, irresponsible, crazy chance. Figure it out for yourself of where, where you're comfortable and how far out of that comfort zone you can go. This decision for you will feel comfortable if you trust your intuition. It will have an, an element of comfort, of it feels right, but also an element of I have no idea what's going to happen. So it's comfortable and uncomfortable at the same time. And it's, it's that blend, it's that balance that you know you're actually stepping into something new and big and better for yourself, okay? Meditation will help, prayer will help quiet the mind so that you can hear your intuition and not your fear, okay? Not the mind speaking to you. And I hope this helps as well. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there. Have a fantastic day. Keep me posted and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.